okay. So like I wrote, I played ahead several hours. Um, I played through the Sector 7 slums where you get to get to know Tifa again. And I actually thought that, that all those side quests, all that filler was actually good because you get scenes between Tifa and Cloud that expand the idea that he's back and he's changed and there's something wrong. And there's a scene where he's about to kill this guy because he might be an informant. And Tifa's like, dude, we can't go that far and not that casually. And he's like, that's kind of cold-blooded, Cloud. Cloud is like, you sure? I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Shut him up right now. Tifa's like, dude, that's too extreme. <laughs> that's too much. You changed psychotically. But she doesn't say it like that. But that's what she means. It's like he's he's cold and, 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 and uh, uh, you know, brutal. Uh, I thought that was interesting. And they did it subtly. It wasn't like, no, Cloud, don't. It was like, want me to kill him? She's like, no, we're going to let him go. Cloud, what, what the fuck? It was like that. I thought it was really well done. Um, so, because when I say padding, I'm, it's not like I hate all the new stuff. There's a lot of new stuff that I like. I like how they expanded that. I think the relationship between Cloud and Tifa, uh, they're doing it really well. Even though they're putting stuff from like 15 hours, 30 hours, from 15 hours in, they're just putting stuff. It's like they can't hold their load in. They have to shoot their load every fucking time, um, giving you flashbacks. Well, you don't need flashbacks right now. Make it a mystery. Make it... If the story and the characters are good enough, people will stick around to see what's up. You don't have to throw everything. You don't have to... Th you Trust people. Stop it. Stop... What do you call it? What's that expression? When you jingle keys in somebody's face, you jingle something. Look at how shiny. Look at how shiny. Don't leave. But I will leave because, like, there's too much, like... Okay, this is my problem. It's too many fucking fights. If it was the type of thing where like, oh, you can go grind if you want. You can go fight shit if you want. That's fine. But this game just makes you go through so many mandatory battles. And they're not even that interesting. That's my thing. It's like, oh my god, I gotta fight again? I gotta hold fucking X for fucking five more minutes? Every time that there was a new fight, I would be like, do I want to fucking do this? It's not the challenge. It's not like... You know, Elder Ring or Dark Souls where I'm like, fuck, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Am I going to go traverse the world and explore the beauty? Try something else? Or, or ram my head back at it? At least Elden Ring gave you choices. This game doesn't really give you choices. You're, you're on rails. You know that train that they're always talking about? This train that we're on? Ain't no getting off this train that we're on? That's not a fucking... That's not like a... Like a... Like a... Like, like a a design recommendation in fact it's the opposite Th that was the whole point of that line the whole point was like we're trapped and we're stuck tifa would say it i feel trapped cloud and then you would feel it it was so oppressive in the original and it moved quickly that's why you could feel it because from one dialogue from one scene to another things would build and things would push each other there was a momentum happening that's not happening here they're killing all of their momentum and it's like, it's almost like a book. It's almost like, all right, all right, we're done with this chapter. It's not going to move like a, like a nice 45-minute script, you know, it, the beginning that, that gets you through it. It's written like a fucking novel. It's like, okay, we're going to go from day and night. Each chapter from morning to, 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 to nightfall, every fucking chapter is going to be like that. How do you fucking generate urgency in a game like that? I swear to God, in the original... The whole Midgar portion in the story was like three days, maybe. Three days, maybe. And this shit feels like I've been here a month. I got a fucking apartment and a landlady. That's how, that's how much the game wants to root you. But hey, um, yeah, I feel like I'm obligated to continue playing it because I have to see it. I can't talk shit. Or say good things about a game without, you know, really playing it all the way. I usually don't expect games to get better when I think that they're shit. But I don't think that this game is shit. Um, I'll tell you one game where I could tell from the very beginning. I knew that the whole fucking 50, 70 hour game is going to be shit. Dark Souls 2. 
That's a shit game. It's a terrible game. There are good things in it. There are good things about it. And I'm sure that if it's the first Souls game that you ever played, it's going to have a special heart, in a special place in your heart. But the game is terrible. And you could tell from the beginning that shit wasn't right. You could tell that shit wasn't going to get better. And stubbornly, because there weren't any other Souls games coming out, I had to just fucking play it and bite the bullet. Because what else did I have? I would have to wait two, three more years for a sequel. So I might as well just eat what I have now, right? Um, I don't really feel that way with this game. I feel like this game, there's a lot of things that they did right, but at the cost of doing a lot of things wrong. Uh, it's too much fashion over heart, you know? But whatever, let's go. Let's look at the new Turks. The Turks used to be bad motherfuckers. I get the feeling that they kind of ruined the Turks, so let's... let's they ruined Eris already. They ruined Eris. They ruined her. She sounds like a tiny little, a little baby Disney princess. She's not. She's supposed to be a chick who lost her alpha male boyfriend. And she's trying to make, kind of trying to make Cloud fit into that. It's very psychologically fucked up. And I think that they're trying to iron that out. You shouldn't iron that out. This game was psychologically disturbing. That was the whole point. Like, Sephiroth wanted to fuck his mom. And, 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 like, it was the same thing with Cloud. Sephiroth loses his mom. There's a whole confusion. Cloud loses. There, there were so many parallels and so many things that were done so subtly that I can only, I think about them now that I'm older, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, well, that shit didn't stand out as a kid, but you could, even if you can't articulate it, you can feel it. You, you know there's something going on. There was, like, this really, really fucked up, psychological undercurrent throughout the whole game and i think that they're pussing out in this one they're either pussing out or they can't write that kind of shit they should have gotten some of the old silent hill motherfuckers to come in here and it's like let's write cloud let's write him as a disturbed ptsd individual but they didn't do that it's like no no we'll just flash the screen whenever he's having his ptsd we're just gonna flash the screen it's gonna look real edgy, and we're gonna do hard cuts. I'm gonna tell the editor, just cut it like that. Uh, uh, it's edgy. It's it's not edgy. It's dumb. It's not 1999 anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so okay, enough bitching. Enough bitching. That was more than enough bitching. Ex soldier. Ex soldier. They sound identical. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind, do you? <laughs> Dude, Eris is supposed to sound older. Just like, just do this for me. Like, kind of pressuring Cloud a little bit. Not this Disney shit. They made her look so weak. You know what You know what my problem is? These Japanese, they're archetypes sometimes. They need to have the pure sacrificial lamb. She's so sweet. and she's, But she's so tough. Just make her a fucking human woman. She lost her fucking man to war. I just, I just know too much. That's why you... That's why I can't stand this Disney shit. And look at Reno. He's supposed to have hair slick. I mean, I know he's got some hair in his face, but he's not supposed to look that young. And he's not supposed to be like a representative of cool. Even though they were cool. But this guy's like edgy cool, not like effortless cool. It's just so cringe. They should be whispering to each other. You sound identical to me. Who directed this piece of shit? It's terrible voice acting. I swear to God, Eris is supposed to sound like a fucking a chick from the slums. She's supposed to be a Pawtucket bitch, but like with like nobility and morality. She's, you know, that's that's my problem with this whole game in 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 the NPCs, the non-player characters, even the people in the slums. Everybody sounds like they're like middle class 
college students who are doing voices. Nobody sounds authentic. Nobody sounds ghetto. Nobody sounds poor. Nobody sounds like they're from the hood or from the slums. Everybody sounds like they have a fucking college education. Everybody enunciates everything perfectly. And everybody does like that sort of like code switching that people do. When you speak to certain people, you, you, you kind of put on a, you lower your voice a little bit but, and you smooth it out and you enunciate every word perfectly. You're not supposed to do that for every fucking character. Why does everybody sound the same? Everybody sounds like they came out of the same fucking voice acting school. I would have failed all of those motherfuckers. Like, all of you, you sound like the same fucking person. It's like, can you do, okay, do somebody high class. Do, do a corporate CEO. Okay, now do somebody ghetto from the hood, from the street. But no, that's too problematic, I think. Oh my god. I fucking hate that when they do that in games where everybody, everybody sounds like a voice actor. What are you doing here? Dude, I was, I was one of the first guys that I approached in the game. Um, he was this guy. I think he was from the slums. And even if he wasn't, even if he was from, 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 from the upper plate, from the crust, there's still a lot of middle, not like lower middle class people, like blue collar people working there. It's not all rich people up in the plate. It's a lot of working class motherfuckers. All, most of the rich motherfuckers are either criminals or they work for Shinra, and they're like gated off from everybody else. It's just that when you, when you would read the text, you would see like the bad English, you would see the accents and like the illiteracy, you know what I'm saying? The ghetto-ness, the street, you would see that shit in the old one, and they got rid of that. And what bothers me is that I don't even think it's the script. Because the script is good. The script, like, like comes through the voice acting. The voice acting is so bad sometimes, but the things they'll say would be so cool, and I'm like, oh, my God, who wrote that? Oh, my God, I can't believe they put that in there. That fits. It's new, but it fits. Like, you know, Barrett and Cloud having their banter together. You know, Barrett's like, whoa, that was something. And Cloud is like, that was nothing. And they, they do, like, a tit for tat here and there, and it's fun. It's cool. Um, but they fucked up everybody else, and they fucked up Eris. They should have made this for adults. It should have been rated M. Cloud should be cutting motherfuckers in half, or sending them flying with the blunt side of his sword. Crushing bones. Like, telling Cloud to, to, to pull out his sword should be seen as a scary thing. It should be like Guts pulling out his sword. You know when Guts pulls out his sword, somebody's gonna get cut in half. Somebody's gonna die. Somebody's gonna learn today. So, the fact that they they really they they they, they nerfed everything. They 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 they, they, they like they shite they they what do you call it? They, they 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 rounded out all the corners, as they say. They put childproof shit on all the corners. It's like Cloud's hair is too spiky. I'll make it a little bit more flowing. Oh, oh, Cloud is is a piece of shit liar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Eris might be potentially a manipulative whore. Maybe. Not Jessie. It's actually Eris. She might be the manipulative whore. Because she's, she's fucked guys. She knows how to manipulate Cloud. She knows how to say the right things. I feel like they got the, 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 the characters mixed up. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know how everybody was calling Jessie like a cock sniffer and like a slut? That should have been for Eris, because Eris was like acting like that in, in the original game, being a little a little too playful, kind of facetious, kind of making Cloud's ego a little wounded. Cloud wants to be this macho motherfucker, and she's like, "Oh yeah, macho motherfucker, prove it, prove it, nigga. Come on, son, you gonna learn a day." That was Eris. Eris was hard in the original game, guys. She was hard. She wasn't no fighter. But she could take a beating. She would get smacked in the face. She would get punched out. In the original game, Eris would get smacked around, punched out, and then and she would still do what the fuck she was gonna do. And she would forgive the people. She would be like, you were out of your mind. It's fine. You're doing your job. I'm doing mine. I'ma go do it now. Sacrifice mine. 
It ruined Eris, man. How do you fucking... How do you fuck that up, man? Such an important character. How do you fuck that up? It's... You can make pure characters unlikable. You can make... You can make a complicated... I don't understand why they... She wasn't even that complicated in the original, is my thing. That you didn't have to iron it out. She was saucy and spicy enough to make Cloud feel a little like, I can't lie to this girl. I can't just get away with giving her my lines and be like, yeah, she's going to believe it. Let me get inside that puss and blah. No, she was like, dude, I can see right through you. I've been with guys like you. Older guys, stronger guys, better guys. That was the whole point of Eris. She is that unlike Tifa, Tifa, who's a little bit younger than Cloud, and even then she's more mature than Cloud, Tifa is just being soft and being like, honey, honey, here, put your head on, put your head on my big old titties, put, put your head on my pillows, and we're gonna talk about it. So tell me about the lies. Tell me about the lies. No, Eris was like, you're full of shit. I can tell you're full of shit. But can you just fucking tell me the truth to my face? I don't have big titties. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm kind of flat chested. I got a big ass, but this is Japan slash the West. Uh, and this was 1997. People weren't worshipping asses just yet. J-Lo wasn't quite the thing she is. She became. And the Kardashians were still just, you know, o OJ's lawyers at the time. So yeah, they fucked up my girl, Eris. She's not supposed to be a little fucking Disney princess. I'm sorry. Namora, you fucked it up. That's that Kingdom Hearts shit. That's the Kingdom Hearts Eris. Eris is not a sweet little pussy. She's a street urchin. She's been running the streets for a long time, getting her ass beat, probably got raped a few times. These are the implications that the original game made you think about that this shit has ironed out completely. Everybody's a virgin in this game, even Barrett. How do you, how do you have Marlene? Well, she's white. He adopted her. Everybody's a virgin in this game. Don't lower your voice. You gotta scare all the teenagers. Don't have any women with a strong woman voice. You know what? That's one thing that I give The Witcher a lot of credit for. The women in The Witcher, they're real fucking women. And they're designed like real women. And they'll fucking rip you up like real women if you fucking cross the line. That's one thing that I give The Witcher a lot of credit for. I don't like that game. I think that the gameplay is trash. But the story elements... Not Ger not Geralt or Geralt. His voice acting sucks. He's he, he is the weakest link amongst the characters in that game. But Siri, what was the other one? Tess, the redhead, and what about the brunette? Amazing. They were amazing. I always felt riveted when I was talking to them. I felt like I was talking to humans. I'm like the writing is so fucking good and the voice acting is so appropriate that it sells the characters. <laughs> No. And this music is too epic. Why is it so epic? This is supposed to be like a private little scrap. See, this, that would be cool if Reno said next to nothing. That would be cool. And if he didn't have a face like a fucking teenager. Yeah, but what if I... I've seen people dodge these. They can totally dodge these. Oh. Fuck you, I keep dodging, but this game is like so unresponsive. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those games where like it's like a shooter, but it's not like if you shoot one shot, like, their head bounces, and if you try to shoot them, the animation kind of protects them from your bullets, so you're just wasting bullets. I hate that type of shit. If I let out two bullets, two bullets ought to hit the motherfucker. If I let out two swings, two swings ought to come out. And if I block, you ought to fucking block. Or at least commit me to it like a Souls game. This 
just get game with a bullshit flash. And another thing, so many fucking characters say the same goddamn fucking thing on the spot. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. It's like somebody's pressing a button. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Uh, uh. Like you just walk next to a couple of NPCs and they'll say the same fucking shit. Or they'll restart the dialogue as if somebody pressed a fucking button. It's so artificial. <laughs> I hate to be so critical, but this is supposed to be a monumental piece of art, and they, they botched it. Yeah. I don't understand how Cloud gets staggered so far for such a long time like that. See, this is really embarrassing because Cloud can barely fucking jump. Why can't Cloud jump? Cloud should be able to put his fucking sword down and do like a spinner Rooney, like fucking Neo in the Matrix. It's just so inconsistent regarding what they can or can't do. Sometimes Cloud will jump 10 fucking feet in the air with a fucking 500 pound sword on his back. But sometimes he'll be holding on and he'll be like, I can't pull myself up, guys. I know I'm hanging for dear life, but I'm tired now. So, whoops. Come on. Come on. Where's Cura? Oh, great. And you can't even counter any of that because the fucking battle system sucks in this fucking game. No parries allowed. It's like he dodges like like it's scripted. I don't like that. It's scripted. Scripted. Oh look, and he like and you're just stuck there. You're just stuck there. This fucking bullshit game. A fucking bullshit ass battle system. It's just so sloppy. And the game calls you sloppy. It's really fucked up. Like Cloud would be like, oh that was sloppy. And, like, Tifa will be like, well, that could have been a little bit tidier. <laughs> it's like, tell your fucking developers. I swear to God, like, the developers fucked up so much that they're like, yeah, let, let's actually have the characters make comment of it because th that shows that we're self-aware and that, like, we're ahead of it. What do you mean you're ahead of it? You're ahead in knowing that you suck and you beat us to it? You beat us to the judgment? Oh, uh, lagging. Yeah, you sound like you're 16, bro. So I'm getting a lag. Because I've had this game on, like, I just pause it and I just leave it there. When I'm done playing, I just, I don't turn off my system, my PC. So we're, we're lagging. We're lagging now. Uh. This is going to be a little bit nightmare with the lag. Because the game doesn't really let you uh, fuck with the settings on the go. And you, you hit guys in the back. And it makes no fucking difference. I mean, sometimes guys will have shields. 
and it but it'll still hardly make a fucking difference this game is kind of it's kind of cheap when it comes to shit like that like being consistent in your in what you're hitting all right we're back my computer kind of settled down my thing is why the fuck have a menu why why can't they just let me assign like let's say the braver or the thrust to certain buttons you know they don't let you use these fucking buttons really all that much a block so this so the trigger button is the same as the a button that's so fucking redundant why would you do that so you got two redundant buttons over here two trigger buttons that you could have used Healing! I am healing now! I am consuming a potion that will uh, heal me! Healing! Like, yeah, great. So I'm gonna heal before I fight Reno, because this is a bullshit fight. Staggered, yeah, like that means anything. You know, Sekiro, they had a system like that. It was, you know, with the parrying. It's called, uh, yeah, it was like a stagger system. Um, except in Sekiro, it was essential. In this... It's something of an afterthought. It's just such a half-assed battle system. They have all these ideas that they don't go all the way with. It's like, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You satisfy nobody. Come on. You satisfy nobody. Except for, like, the people who will just consume anything. The people who have no fucking standards, who will consume anything. They think that this fucking game is, is masterful. It's masterful. It's a masterpiece. Come on, man. Oh, it's a good children's game. It's a good game for, um, I would say 7 to 13, 14. Perfect game. If you're 7 to 14, <coughs> it's a great game. But you're going to grow out of it faster than people grew out of the original. You know, I think the whole point of good art is that <coughs> it strikes you as a child. It strikes you. And as an adult, it grows with you. As you mature, as you learn new things, the artwork doesn't, you don't leave it. You see more within it. You know, you're like, whoa, look at all these things that were in it that I couldn't see with my childhood eyes. Then now as an adult with all this experience and education, it stands out even more. So good art is supposed to grow with you. You're not supposed to grow out of it. That to me is superficial art. And I think that this, would, this is what this game is going to be remembered as compared to the original. This one's going to be remembered as so, something of a disposable piece of art. And the old is going to be remembered as like, like a strong, a strong kind of hard to grow out of piece of art. The one, the, the one Final Fantasy that, that I grew out of the fastest was 8. Because 8's got the weakest story. It's got great characters, a great world. But the story itself is so up and down. It's so convoluted that it loses its power by, by like the midpoint. Or, or even before that. Or maybe after that, depending on who you are. But as I was growing up... And I would replay that game over and over again. And I would try to see it as a movie in my head. I'm like, oh my god, this would have got cut out. That would have gotten cut out. Gotta cut this shit out. Gotta, sh you know, shorten this up. And blah, 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 blah. With Final Fantasy VII, it's so cinematic. And it's so quick. And it's written. It's written like a movie script. Because it's written like a movie script. It moves fast. And you almost can't think of what else to add because it's so tight it's like there's there's no fat here it's so tight a little bit of fat but what fat was there was integral to the personality so my thing is when something's got a good amount of fat like a healthy amount of fat don't add more why would you add more you're hurting it now it's got the fat it needs already fat is good you need fat fat is essential fat Especially men, we need to have, we need to eat fat. We need natural fat. Fat is not bad. Fat is, is, is part of the texture. So when this motherfucker in this game tries to inject more fat 
pretending like it's beef, trying to inject more fat into the game. My discerning tongue tongue goes, this is, ooh, it's like, what the fuck? It's like they dipped this shit in fat and fried it. It's like a deep fried steak. I know people are into that shit. I know some people, but but it's it's like crack. It's so unhealthy for you. It's so bad. Just because you like it, it doesn't mean it's good. You know what I'm saying? So whenever I like something, I'm of two minds. I'm like, okay, Carlos, you got your opinion. You like something, but can you justify it? What can you justify as fact? What arguments can you make derived from your opinion? <laughs> from your opinion, what, what what arguments can you pull out that are actual facts and not just, because I like it. I just happen to like it. Yeah, but what about it is good? So, I don't even know. I lost my train of thought. I keep looking at the images and I'm like, I should just play the game and shut the fuck up. Where's Reno? I'm just stalling because Reno beat me. He, uh, what's the word? He traumatized me. What's that new popular word that makes you, like, a winner in society? I'm traumatized. And... I'm sorry. I'm trying to skip it. I'm trying to skip it. It won't let me. He's Western cool because electric guitars. Oh, I can't wait to hear him tap. Yo, tap already. Let me see. So, I don't know if there's parries or just blocks in this game, but I'm going to have to learn how to parry this guy, apparently. Ah, uh, you gotta dodge that, I guess, because he staggers you. Wish I had auto cure. Nah, he's gonna counter me. He's gonna counter me. Well, don't warn him. Why well, you gotta announce it? That's what he dodged, you idiot. You can't just announce your moves, bro. I'm gonna telegraph. I look at Eris in the back. I, she's so cute. See, but that's cute only if she's tough. Now it's just expected. Well. Ah. Oh, no. Undone.
Ah, oh, bullshit. You sneaky piece of shit. Staggers you, you can't even you can't even get out of that. Bullshit. I've locked it though, you full of shit motherfuckers. That shit, motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, I know, sorry. <laughs> Come on, this guy can't block for shit. Slow ass blocker, bro. The whole sword, all you gotta do is like, hold it up real quick. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Go get the girl. The hell? Hey, the window's broken. They're just taking the whole ghost shit so literally. There were ghosts in the original, but they were like enemies or like parts of the stream, the live stream, you know? They were like, so it was like a visual metaphor. That's actually supposed to have fucking ghosts. It was just, it was just flavoring. Well, whatever. If you accept it in Dark Souls, but but that's totally different. I can't even move the camera now. The 
hell am I supposed to do? What the fuck is this? Are we stuck? Chain me up for that? Come on. This game is. Oh, I don't. It's just so dumb. Why'd you do it? Oh. Turn this game into some hack shit. Yeah, but what am I running away from if the ghosts are blocking them? Oh, they didn't show her rolling down that shit. In the original, they show her sliding down that whole fucking shit. Eris gets fucked up in the original. And why are they trying to soften it up? <laughs> That's what we loved Ares. She was tough. Get this crap out of here. They're just ruining her character. Every time she's on screen, like these fucking thing ghosts come on, man. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You just leave her alone. You just let her alone. Let her alone. Fuck her. In my version, we don't, we don't, ah, oh, come on. If this game was a, a real RPG, you could just leave this bitch. Everything would have been a choice. Everything would have been a choice. You want to be my bodyguard? No. Goodbye. And you leave. And when the, the Turks come in, they're like, yeah, we're here for her. Get out of our way. And you're like, okay, I'm out of here. And you go... Play the rest of the game, but it's a fake ass game. Look at this. This is a fake ass RPG. And I, now I gotta do this no consequence, like just. It's just this. It's like playing a demo. No skills required. Oh yes. All right. Are you gonna? Are you gonna like, hang off, hang on, hang on with one arm and like, pull out your Buster sword and like chop it? Is that what you're gonna do? Cause I wonder who thought of that. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> he literally like hang hangs on with one arm, pulls out his huge massive. Ludicrous sword. <laughs> oh no! It's hitting me for 4 HP! Out of like 2600 HP, it's hitting me for 4 HP. Oh no! Sorry, hold on guys. I gotta get it from the right angle. You guys just gotta hold on. Can I get that one? Am I supposed to get that one? No? In the original, you, 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 you did a bunch of them, a bunch of traps. It was like, like four barrels. You could really fuck their shit up in the original. This, this sucks. They're not even letting you... In the original, you can fuck up not saving her right. In the original, if you don't, if you don't like push off the right barrels up in the rafters to hit the soldiers... She fucking laughs at you, and she's like, are you sure you're a fucking body? Are you sure you were a soldier, bro? Because my ex was in soldier, and, like, you're whack. But if you nail it, she's like, whoa, yeah, you're in soldier, bro. I can tell because you got it in one try. 
not verbatim, but that's essentially what it was. And you can't even do that in this one. She's like, Cloud, let's go. Over here, Cloud. Move. Help me, loser. Let's go. Where to, ma'am? Oh, thank you. That was whack. The original was way better in that regard. I mean, what's written on paper. But sure! Dead America! Electric guitars, blues, pentatonics! There's shit all over the game. I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. I really thought it was just gonna be like in the beginning and in the end. I didn't know the shit was gonna be all over fucking her shit. Wow. Not letting me run, really. Errors. Let me look at your model. Uh, it's immaculate. Just like the other ones. At least they did that right, you know? Molasses. This shit is so hard on the fucking, uh, on, on the graphics card or whatever. That, like, on the gra just in the graphics in general, that, like, they don't let you run in this part. You can either walk, or you can kind of, like, trot. You could have just done it the way that it was written. But you have to add all that bullshit. Ugh. It just, it's too much. You're taking away from Shinra. You're distracting the villain thing. I think, actually... That's why they left it for, like, the end of, of, of Midgard. It switches villains because, yeah, in the beginning of the story, you, you have one villain, but it's revealed that, oh, no. So, in here, you're putting so many different threats and so many different, like, just, like, ambiguous, like, like what do you call them, even? Like, devices... What do you call those things? It's it's like a shitty writing device. Like why introduce that? Okay. It's complicated That's already. See that pillar over there? This is cool. Station, right by it. Want to mosey on over? Sure. Imagine if this was a from software level now. Imagine if this was Elden Ring. You could explore all of that and beyond and the shit on top. Imagine if this was a From Software game. This, that's all I'm thinking about after playing the Elden Ring, man. That's all I can think about. It's like if this was one of them Miyazaki games, you would be able to explore just about all of this. You could probably take your fucking horse and ride up those fucking mountains over there. Because you could do that in Elden Ring. I'm just saying. And you would probably find treasure and weapons or something. I was so ungrateful when I, when I played that game because it has no story. It's got like 120... 200% lore. It's 200% lore, 5% story. There's no story pulling you through. You do what the fuck you want. It's almost to a fault. In this game, it's like story driven to a fault in that they took the story and they added so much bullshit to it and neglected and totally neglected the world. And instead of a world, they didn't create a world. They just created a set piece with matte paintings. And I love set pieces. I love matte paintings, but that's all this game is. Not a fucking world. They didn't make a world. What the fuck did they do with that whole time? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck did you guys do? You just you just made Cloud look awesome? The character models look totally perfect and beautiful and immaculate? And, and almost too good. It's like, there were at some points that they were showing the character models years ago, and they looked, they looked a little bit more square. They looked a little bit more defined. And then they homogenize them to death to the point where like they look so they look so vague in their ethnicity that I'm like just just stick to it. you should have just stuck to the Nordic shit and I'm just like a fucking 
I'm a Hispanic. I'm brown at heart, you know. <laughs> I'm a Pac at heart. But it's like you're talking about Midgard and you're talking about fucking all this Norse mythology shit, you know. I'm like, you might as well make the characters that aren't from Wu Tai and the Cos the Cosmo Canyon, all these areas that were like purposefully ethnic, you know. I wish it was like I, I just wish it was more ethnically diverse, but like in a definite way. Like go in with all the ethnic groups because it's the future you should have a ton of ethnic groups and go all the way with 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 the way their features are constructed um but i think that they did that for relatability um you can't make the the, the characters too beautiful because you might have to do extreme things to their features that aren't necessarily uh universally palatable so they went with something more safe you know and more ironed out which, you know, I don't blame them, but at the same time, like, like, you can still create a world. What the fuck did they do that whole time? Look. Like, from software made Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, Elden Ring, five worlds. Five worlds in in about ten years in about a ten year ten year span. Five worlds, big worlds, most of them masterpiece, rewarding worlds, like standards, benchmarks. And this, these motherfuckers have been developing this shit for like. If you want to be critical, since like the mid 2000s so at least it's about 15 years just about and they couldn't make one beautiful big detailed world they couldn't make one and not only they couldn't make one they couldn't make a third of one which is what this game is supposed to be this game i mean this game is supposed to cover in what the original were the first eight to ten hours depending on who you are and how you play the first eight to ten hours in what was probably in three discs uh you know a 25 to 45 hour game depending on who you are or maybe a 70 hour game if you want to do every depending on who you are the story is probably about 30 hours long and you're attempting to cover the first third so to speak more or less the first third or the first fourth of the game that was their the conceit or their excuse that they were they were going to do one fourth of the game, but they were going to do it because it was going to be so detailed. It was going to be developed so in, in such like an obsessive like an obsessive ambition. It was going to be so mind blowing, and so I really don't know. I, like, What the fuck happened? And in my wildest fantasies, I'm like, I wish that you would just give the story, the original story, just give it to the Miyazaki team in From Software and be like, please, we beg you, we'll suck your dick, Miyazaki. All of Square Enix, Rawr! remake this game, with, but but like Sekiro, with a story, with cutscenes, with blah blah blah, but with no added bullshit, just enhancements. Make the world richer, make the world more defined. And make it actually <laughs> traversable. Make it so that you can actually experience it. Uh, and you can find things how you want. You know, you'll have a story that'll pull you through. But that'll be an embarrassment of riches of things that you can explore to expand the story if that's what you're looking for. Make that optional. You know, don't make it mandatory like this shit where I'm supposed to like just wade through mad filler and the filler is not even in the side missions those those were kind of fun simple mediocre but the little cutscenes that you're rewarded with actually enrich the characters i think that the the the, the mandatory stuff the mandatory st story stuff actually undermines the characters because it's so low quality the things that they've added to it like the ghost shit that's low quality like what the fuck is the point of that what, what is that adding to the story the extra sephiroth stuff what is that adding to the story I think that everything that they're adding is undermining what was already there. It's fucked up. 
It's fucked up. Let's keep playing, though, you know? Let's keep an open mind. Can we look under Aerith's dress? Oh, not quite. Oh, not quite. The old cloud, if this game was made with, with the old cloud in mind, you would be able to look up her dress. And she would have said something. She would have been like, cloud? What the fuck, cloud? Or she would have kicked them in the face and been like, come, cut it out. If that was the original, if this game had been made, I think, with the flavor of the original, if you try to look up her, her up her dress, you would have gotten a look of what was under her dress, and then she would have fucking made you pay for it. Um, what's next for you? A little bit of you. Guard work. <laughs> right. And after that, back to the Sector 7 flight. Doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> Who gives a shit what the fuck I think? You know what I'm saying? This is one of Sinon's perks. That's what perks want with you. Sinon. From earlier. That hey, just happened. Don't perks keep an sorry. Eye for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Perks get called in to handle all kinds of situations. Extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional oddball. Gotta love him. Back to my question. Nee, 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 nee. You? you look like you knew each other. Maybe. You Couldn't tell. With all the fucking ghosts. You know, the distractions going on. Hmm? You lose the subtlety of the scenes. <laughs> She's 22, people. And she lost her boyfriend to the war. And her boyfriend was a cooler version of of of, of Cloud here, little twenty one year old Cloud, this twenty two year old uh, Aerith over here. Keep that in mind when you hear her fucking Disney voice. But they're playing her theme, which is been I mean, reworked, but it sounds good because they nailed the soul of the soundtrack at the very least. This game is not as good as what they did with the soundtrack. I'll give you that. It's more of a showcase for the mythology of the game than an actual game. It's like a museum. Because you can't interact with anything. It's, it's a dead museum. And I used to say that about From Software games disparagingly. But now I'm like, I'm eating my words. Because their word, they're, they're actually, it is actually a living world. Compared to shit like this. You can go die to your heart's content. It's so liberating. What if I jumped off and Cloud died? Cloud, no! Snake! You guys ever played the Japanese demo of Metal Gear Solid? That shit was fucking <laughs> amazing. Amazing! And look, if this was a From Software game, there would be like a bunch of like, a bunch of items, a bunch of like those white soul items just like littered about telling you, you can go there, you can go there, that far away there, yeah, you can see it shining, you can go there. You can go there. So you can jump down here. You can go there, but in this game you can't do that. Oh, sorry. I activated the menu by accident. This just illogical design. Look at that. It's just let me jump, man. Ugh. On tracks, man. Am I going back? Yeah, I think I am. Sorry, this game, it, it's hard to find shit when this game keeps you on rails. I get the feeling that a lot of the padding, too, comes from you just getting lost in this bullshit. And you're not getting lost because there's so much to explore. You're getting lost because you don't know what you can explore. Oh, it's like, oh, not here, not here, not here, not here. It's a bit annoying. Too old. Can I 
that's gotta be it. Cause at least Cloud looks cool. Like I, I can stare into him and be like, oh. <laughs> right? Just be astounded by the detail in this one character or two and see the world look like total trash not even be able to explore it if you're gonna make the world look like trash at least let me explore it Careful. Not, a lot of risk. not a lot of consequence either nothing's gonna happen this is just like pornography so you can have these moments too and make a cool world fuck me what the fuck did they do for 13 years? I could ask myself the same question. But, goddamn. This thing cost like hundreds of millions of yen to make or whatever. I actually haven't commented by a new shop before. I never got hundreds of millions yeah. to fuck things up. Which, honestly, kind of exciting. I think I would have done a less harmful job. This is like a, <laughs> this game is a husk. How do you play this game twice? Like replay, how do you replay it? Like the gameplay's not strong enough. I The only people that I can see playing this game twice are people who really loved it, really enjoyed it for what it is. And people who have to review this game professionally. I'm neither, I'm just like, I, I just love the original. Dude, she should be going ahead of him. In some ways, but it's true. In, in the original, she she would kind of play upon that damsel stuff. But it was done better. It was done in a comical way where she, she it made her look like a klutz. Oh, why do you let me go back if there's no treasure or anything to go back to? Yeah, no, in the original, they actually made, um, they made fun of her for being clumsy and not being agile at all. Like something of a, like a young grandma. It was funny. I just want everybody to go play the original and reimagine it in your own mind. Use your imagination. Use your brain. Just use your imagination and play it in your mind with these graphics, kind of with this kind of potential. I just, I just want From Software to remake this game. Please, From Software. Please, Square Enix. Let them remake it. Let it. Let them turn it into a real game, please. You take. I was gonna say you take care of the story, but I don't want them to take care of the story. Easy now. You worry too much. <laughs> See, that would have been funny if it was more consistent. If she was more oldish. Thank you, Cloud. Ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving them. But... In the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. So long. So too long. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People think the steel sky is the strongest, but I don't. How could I? All that tension, all of them singing, swirling and blending together into something mighty. <laughs> She should sound like she probably smoked one or two cigarettes in her life. You know what I'm saying? She lives in the slums, bro. She probably smokes blunts with, like, you know, the slum people are, like, you know, Johnny and shit. I, I hate that they make it. They, they make her so pure. She wasn't... She was never pure. She was just a brave, good-hearted person. She wasn't... She just had, like, a uh, an angelicness about her because she's an alien, you know? She's got, like... She's got ancient blood you know but no she wasn't perfect in the original 
you're just so Disney. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. See, it's like people say that we should be grateful that they even made it. And I'm like, it's like saying you should be grateful that like somebody fucked your ass, but they did it very gently and they whispered in your ear and they were very considerate of your, you know, rectal health. Um, I, I, but it's still rape. It's like, don't do that. And I'm not going to be grateful that you did it just because you did it in a really cutesy, nice way. Grab her, Cloud. Where's the grab button? Grab her by the way. Hook her. Just hook her towards you. Just hook her in. Such a sexless game. For s it's like they're, they're, they're trying so hard with the romance, but it's so sexless and so devoid of... Well, Tifa and Cloud do have chemistry. But they should all have chemistry. Cloud and Eris should have chemistry. Eris and Tifa should have chemistry. And they should have chemistry with Barrett. And I think that they're kind of fucking it up with Eris over here. Making her into like some underage bimbo. You good? Of course. Oh god. Get the camera out of here. This camera's so stupid. This anime camera. So forced. I don't do compliments. I nag my women. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a I wish that, that they had left like some adults with like some like life experience to write the, to rewrite this game, not a fucking like a sheltered nerd. <laughs> the Irani, the Irani, the Irani. Oh, again, really? I'm trying to explore the world. I'm trying to love the world. Warning what? Warning we didn't finish the game? Warning this part's not finished? What the fuck? That's fucked up. I'm so... It's fucked up, though. That that exists in this game. Warning! This game's not finished. $70, please. $75. $100. 120 Depending on which one you bought. I didn't buy it. So I'm not that mad. If I had bought this game, I'd be pissed. Ew, fire this chick, man. Not because she's bad, she's miscast. They fucked it up. No, I'm not gonna want, I don't wanna listen to the Japanese one. I like English. This is a Western story. <laughs> I know it's not, but it's like, it's Japanese people trying to be really Western. And, and that's, that was cool. I like it when cultures like try to do other cultures. I love cultural appropriation. So if you want to do honor to another culture and you want to do it hard, fucking do it. I love seeing people's interpretations of like other people's cultures. That shit is awesome to me. I mean, look at the Souls games. They're they're like a Japanese interpretation of Western like fantasy lore. Western dark fantasy and they imbue it with Japanese shit and it comes out amazing it's So weeby I hate weeb I hate weeb culture It ruins my stuff. I don't hate them like as I hate people. I, they just ruin my shit <laughs> Trying to say that this game was always a weeb game. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It's just a weeb's got a hold of it, and they, they wrecked it. They made a bunch of Tifa porn, a bunch of Final Fantasy porn, and they they the waifu fantasies have ruined my game. 
Look at all these normal looking people. Why? This is the slum. What the hell's going on? You hear those people? They sound like middle class academics. Stop shouting now. Poor people can be classy too. Yeah, they can. I, I know that. Of course they can. But it's not the norm. Oh, you're a lady from the slums? Yeah, you sound really educated, actually. Did you just leave your middle class family up up in the up in the plate? And now you're like slumming it down here with the hoi polloi? Yeah? So what you do with your useless degree? Yeah? Okay. Now this makes sense. This guy's like a CEO. I wish I could interact with people. But I can't. I'm tr pressing triangle. And he's not saying anything. This game is so empty. Look, at least if this was a Bethesda game, and people talk shit about Bethesda, that's fine. I'm not defending Bethesda. But at least Bethesda, you can talk to just about everybody. They'll have at least one line or two to say to you. And it's usually useful stuff or flavor. It's flavor. No flavor here. What is this shit? What are these hipsters? What, are you just taking a break from the Starbucks? Really? What's up, bro? You going to the skate park later? Okay, cool. Oh, there's just a bunch of stuff stacked around. Where are the drunks? Where's the squalor? I gotta wait for the Walmart to see that shit? I shouldn't have to. Why is it always daytime? I hate that, man. <laughs> That's because they would have they would actually have to do good lighting throughout the game. Like detailed lighting. But Elden Ring did that too. Because Elden Ring, the day, night, noon cycle, it looks very similar. It's not the same, it's not identical, but it's too, It's so similar that a first-time player probably wouldn't notice it. And they still have the most varied lighting because they have like a billion dungeons with different lighting. A, a, a billion biomes with like different lighting, moment-to-moment -moment lighting. And you, could have, and you can carry your own light with you or a torch to even complicate the lighting even more. This game doesn't, let, doesn't do any of that. So again, what the fuck did they do for 13 years, man? The fuck? You were working on Cloud Model for 13 years, bro? Is that where all the budget went? Is that like, okay, we need uh, $200 million to remake uh, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so the, the, the Cloud Model, just by itself, is going to cost 150 to $180 million. Uh, and 90% of our resources. And yeah, he looks immaculate, but I don't give a fuck about that. Just if they had made the story perfect, left it how it was, had been very meticulous about the direction, the lighting, you know, the cameras and all that, and, 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 and the writing, it would have been, and the world had been fully realized, it would have been the best game ever made. But instead, they just chose to focus on Cloud's fucking... Mad Max shoulder pad over here and his fucking suspenders and his fucking and his fucking what do you call it a lifting belt it's fucking his three belts yeah thank god yes thank god fucking cloud has three belts and like look at the fucking detail on his fucking on his fucking glove there's like more detail in his fucking glove than there is in the whole fucking world over here that we're looking at. Look at the fucking sword. All the fucking detail is on this fucking gray slab. It's fucking shameful. It's fucking embarrassing. Just trying to sell toys, man. They George lucas it, man. They George lucas it. And then they disney it. It's like they George lucas it and then they disney it at the same time. Bring it. Bring it, you. It's alright. These battles are all, like, fine. Because, like, all you gotta do is press, like, X or whatever. These aren't, like, real fights or anything like that. Oh, 
Oh, shit. It's all right. She's tough. Slum girl. I know her. She's the slum drunk. Imagine if she had a, a substance abuse problem. Imagine if she was the slum drunk. It's like, flower girl? You mean the slum drunk? Yeah, I know her. And then Cloud is like, oh, yeah, you're the slum drunk. I mean, flower girl. Imagine if that was, if it was like that. If she was a booze head. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, look, she's like, she's like, like a, uh, she's just like, like, a, like a spokesperson for the developers. It's like, oh, that, that, that part's a dead end, dude. That part's not finished. Nobody even thought to finish it, actually. So I'm just going to let you know before you go there that it's a dead end and you probably shouldn't go there. Don't get your hopes up. It's a dead end. Nice. It's real nice. Fucking hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. And even the voice acting sucks. How, what the fuck? What do they do with that money? Who took all that money? Over here. I just want to know what happened to all that money. Like, what, what did you guys make instead? <laughs> Forspoken. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck they made instead, man, but... Holy shit. This game is embarrassing when you compare it to something like the Elden Ring. Which, that game... You, this game is too long for its own good, and there's like... It's not, it's not even too much of a good thing. And I used to think that that was something of a of an insult or a disparaging. Elden Ring is too much of a good thing. But there's so much good that it actually applies. This game is not too much of a good thing. This game is too much of a mediocre thing. It's like mediocre butter spread over too much toast. And the toast is moldy. The bread is not even toasted. And it's got like patches of mold. Oh shit. Uh, I knew it. You wanna help? You wanna put your sword down, Cloud? It's just absurd. This is this this is like a PlayStation 2 game because Resident Evil 4 was a PlayStation 2 game. And it has, like, identical fucking hallways. Look at this shit. This looks like Resident Evil 4. The old one. The old Resident Evil 4. That's what this looks like. I feel like I'm gonna get jumped by a bunch of Ganados and shit. Where's my fucking gun? Oh, man. I know I'm gonna fight a bunch of parasites just about now. Oh, my God. It's the chainsaw guy. Fuck. That's it. Mash X. Ignacio! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, man, I don't have my assess material. Fuck. That's that. Oh, rip! Rip! Don't smack her, Cloud. Don't punch her now, Cloud. <laughs> Don't choke her out, Cloud. <laughs> Spoilers. I wonder if they'll keep that in. Yeah, for those of you that that's a spoiler too. Yeah, Cloud in the original game, he like punches her and like chokes her out. And I'm wondering if they're going to keep that in, in this one. They're probably going to take that out. Because in the original, fucking Cloud fucking almost breaks her fucking jaw. And she gets over it, like, overnight. And gets killed right after. Um, I think they're going to take that out. And I and if they do, even fuck this game even more. Um, because they took out the blood. They took out all the blood out of the game. Um, and it wasn't even that much blood to begin with, so... I'm like, so you're taking out all the blood already? There's not even that much blood. All the blood is like 
related to the story. It's like blood that's like on the floor. Like it's related to the to the mood of the story of the game. It's not like the combat should be gory or anything like that, or that the this it should be hyper violent. It's not Akira, you know. After all, it's it's more like the Matrix, where it's got a little bit of blood here and there, a little bit of gore, but it punctuates the action and and you know, it adds consequence to 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 to, to the character's actions. And in this game, they took out all the fucking blood. So there's no fucking... What do you, what you gonna call it? There's no... There's no suspense. And in the original, the most famous death wasn't even gory. It was just shocking. The gore is, it was just part of other things. It was like set design. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> like I can understand now why the boomers get mad when they see like uh, these these companies fucking up like their movies and their games. Like I used to kind of laugh at that shit. I could kind of relate to it, but not all the way. And I would make fun of that shit. I'm like these old motherfuckers bitching about games and and and, and movies made for children. And now I play this shit, you know, and and I'm like. Ew, I can relate to you fucking neckbeard motherfuckers. Ew, fuck. Why? Where's my neckbeard? It's like, I'm surprised I didn't just grow a neckbeard on the spot and a gut. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm miserable. You're in for a tweet, cloud. My mom's cooking is the best. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves I feel like they they gave Eris uh, excuse me I think they, they gave Jesse too much of Eris's story <laughs> I know you're robbing uh, uh, Jesse's uh, Jesse's family and there's food but like now Eris's mom can cook too and blah 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 and yada yada. I'm like, you're just spreading it too thin. Why, why the fuck would you do that? It's already there. Why would you, under, like, split it and undermine it? Like, spread it around for no fucking reason. Maybe Eris's mom doesn't know how to fucking cook shit. And Eris became the good cook. It's like, Eris is like, I can fucking cook. I'll make you. But Jesse already offered to make Cloud a pizza. I kind of want that pizza. I want Jessie's pizza. Eris didn't offer me her cooking. She offered me her mom's cooking. I'm not sure if I want her mom's cooking. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, man. It's like, who wrote this shit, man? <coughs> the original was good because it didn't fuck it up. The original just did enough to get away with it. This one, you're spreading it so thin, and you're showing me that you don't know what the fuck you're writing. I was really excited to play this because people were giving it like 10s out of 10s. And they were like, oh, the, fan the Final Fantasy you always jerked off to. The Final Fantasy you always wanted. How you always wanted it to be. How you always knew it to be. And I'm like, this is what you fucking pictured in your dumb fucking head? And you became a professional fucking game critic? Profe oh my god. It's like, what the fuck are your standards? If a fucking peon like me, what is it like? It's not my profession to criticize games or to critique them or to defend them. The fact that the, that I can see through this shit, and and they can't either. They can't chose not to. Maybe got money. Maybe they got some like free shit. I don't fucking know. But it's like, I think that they had their dicks out the whole time that they were playing this fucking game. I'm glad that they kept this song. Almost the same, just about identical, just with the, uh, you know, analog instruments. Either analog instruments or really expensive uh, samples. See, this is a good cover because they kept the drums, they kept the bass. They didn't replace the bass with a piano. 
I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do, but when it's the lead instrument, it is a bad thing to do. Am I going back? Ugh. It just looks like mush to me. It's like a gray mush. Never expected to say that about Final Fantasy VII. It's a gray mush. It looks like I'm playing Fallout 3. It's like Fallout 3, but Fallout 3 was better. Way better. I love Fallout 3. I'm not trying to disparage Fallout 3, but Fallout 3 is a PlayStation 3 game, not a fucking PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 game. And, and Fallout 3, even though it looked like shit, you can talk to everybody. And you can make choices. Branching paths. There's no branching paths here. The fucking the fucking actual paths barely branch out. And the graphics, man. I think it's my computer. It is my computer. It's my thing. It's my machine. But Dark's I mean Elden Run looks incredible in my fucking machine. It runs fine. It does its thing. And it's way more shit than this shit. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting that you're not supposed to explore. Yeah, no, it's fucked up what they've done. It's fucked up. They butchered my baby. Look what they've done to my baby. You don't know the purpose of all this shit. A remedy. Nice. I've always wanted a remedy. Oh, that's it? Oh. Okay. Oh, look. Eris is stuck. Yeah. Those are cool. I don't care. <laughs> Can you pick these locks, bro? Imagine if you had builds and you could pick locks. Like a real game? Imagine if uh if uh if Eris was the first thief in your party and she's like, I got it. <laughs> chick 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 <laughs> That'd be awesome. And then she teaches Tifa how to steal. That'd be awesome. She's like, Cloud, you're not agile enough, but I can teach you a few things. But Tifa, she's she's a fucking ninja. I can teach her everything. And then Tifa can like be it like a subclass of like monk and thief. Come on, that'd be so cool. And Cloud is like a barbarian fighter. Tifa would be a a, a, a monk, uh, a monk thief. Eris would be a, a, a thief cleric. You know, fucking uh, Barrett would be a, a, a tank, obviously, uh, uh, a tank and a, and a and a what do you call it? A ranged fighter or whatever. It's like they could have had builds. They don't have builds in this game, fucking piece of shit kid. They don't have builds, man. They don't even have builds. They have builds in fucking Diablo. Diablo's been going hard for fucking 30 years. They have builds. Put some fucking builds, son. Why are you afraid? Pillars of Eternity did it. Baldur's Gate did it. Put some builds in here, you chicken shit fucks. So half fast. Okay. Explosions. Literally. Explosions. Well, glad well, they paid attention to that detail. You know what? At least we got that. Look at that. We got that. Thanks. Enough. 
I am excited, however, to play Resident Evil 4 Remake. That shit looks good. That shit looks incredible. Don't disappoint me. Ah, don't disappoint me. Please, don't disappoint me. <laughs> nah, it doesn't look like it's going to. It looks really, really good. I don't know. The camera's telling me over here. Because I can't move it. Okay, shit. Sorry, game. Get over it like you got over Zack? Yeah. <laughs> dun dun. No good? That sucks. Oh, try using that controller to make a pattern. Oh my god. You try. You try. Why can't I switch characters? What the fuck is the point of making me switch characters in battle? If I fucking can't switch characters outside of battle to do puzzles. So now I gotta go all the way the fuck... Instead of her going to help me so that I can love her. She's gotta give me orders to fucking get the fuck back down. Instead of going, Cloud, I got you. Cloud, I got this puzzle. I see it. I got you. Stand, Stay right there. If she said, don't move. Don't move, Cloud. I got you. And she either did it or you took control of her. That would have been awesome. But instead, I have to do this bullshit. Look at that. Did you see that? That's not good. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. My mind wanders and I'm just like, what? Every time I see shit like this, I'm like, what the fuck did they... What the fuck did they not do to do this instead? What part of the world did they neglect, ignore altogether for this shit? For, for stuff like this? And look, I didn't even get it all the way. I, I got lucky. Oh, God. Platforming or something. This is platforming? You guys ever play the platforming in Elden Ring? Well, the platforming in Elden Ring is a couple of times mandatory. And you know what? One of the times that you actually have to platform in Elden Ring, it's because a fucking comet hits the earth and it penetrates the crust. And you can climb down, jump down, and make it all make it all the way down from the surface of the earth to the, the crust of the earth and see the water where the where the fuck the rivers that it it, it it destroyed and all the water coming down in waterfalls in this massive crater, this massive hole in the crust of the earth. You can climb down the fucking crust. And go to an underground city that is part of an underground world. An underground map. Four maps underground that you can explore and get lost in. And just waste dozens of hours in. Mandatory platform. And that's what it, re that's what it rewards you with. The ability to not only do it, be able to do it. To, 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 to vertically do it. In a level, in a world, in a game. And then for making you do that, they're like, have all this. Look at all this. <sighs> have it all, bitch. Can you explore it all? Do you dare? Do you have time? Do you have a job? This game, it's like, when you compare the, the, the level of platforming from game to game, it's fucking embarrassing. What were they doing? No, you're not. Yeah, that's what this game says. No need to thank me, guys. I just, I just pay me, pay me. Oh, I don't need your thanks. Pay me. Oh, I don't need your comments either. Pay me. <laughs> I don't need thanks. Pay me. <laughs> I feel like this game. There's so much stuff in the script that like is a slap in the face to anybody who's playing it, and I'm like, that's not even subtle. It's like it's it's 
very bold. <laughs> I don't need your thanks. Just give me your fucking money. It's like nobody was gonna thank you anyway. Thank you for a molesting, for an assault, a soft assault. Because they didn't even go all the way with it. It's just a soft assault. It's like, ugh, you kind of like. This person just like kind of just thrust it up against me and seizured all over the place and. They came in their pants. They couldn't even take it out. Uh, am I grateful that it, he didn't penetrate my ass? Yes. Uh, but I'm only grateful because it happened at all. It's like it shouldn't have happened to begin with. Pardon my analogy. Pardon. I know it triggers some people to say those things, and I'm, you know, I'm sort of. I'm not trying to minimize it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why can't I go there? He came there. Why can't I go there? There's people there. Else you'd rather be? <sighs> yes. No, I mean, yes, I love you. With you. With you. With you. From software. Think of from software and look at this. Did you see that ghetto ass shit? Hey. See that shitty ass shit? Some PlayStation 2 shit? Did you see that? And then think of think of from software. Just think about the underground world. Their underground world, just the underground world, is way bigger, way more labyrinthine, way more filled with bosses and secrets and shit that you need to spend dozens of hours completing before you can come back and resolve. The game is daring you to excavate every inch of what they've made, of what the developers made. They made such an intricate, beautiful, detailed world that they're saying, come back a hundred hours from now after you've seen so many different radical things. Come back and this place will still hold up. And often it does. Eight, nine times out of ten, it does. Not always. It's a lot of repetition. There's a lot of copy and paste. There's a lot of reused assets, as they say. But at least they have assets to reuse and repurpose. What the fuck assets does this game have? Everything looks like generic bullshit. Yeah, I know, honey, sorry. I'm just talking about how this world wasn't handcrafted. Everything looks like it was put here by a fucking computer instead of by human minds. And I'm sorry, I don't like to berate artists. I don't like to tell artists how to make their shit. But this isn't, doesn't feel like an artistic statement. This just, this just feels like, <sighs> like they're just trying to make money. Just like a quick buck. It's like they're, 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 they're nailing all the most superficial aspects of what you can get away with to extract money from your audience. The situation is under control, and the people of our first uh. need not worry about any additional complications. You are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect a device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are Yo, Barrett! hiding somewhere in Midgar. Wedge! And given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they start again? What do you think? Uh, what? Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Have no fear. Look at Scarlet's tits. Holy down. shit. That's why she becomes Tifa's okay. natural enemy, because it's big titty against big titty. Big titty blonde versus right. big Let's titty go. brunette. I hope they leave that in. They probably will, and it'll probably be like a half hour long. The slap fight, I mean, on top of the uh, the cannon, the, uh, the the Mako cannon, the uh, Junon cannon. What are you guys making lattes? What happened to all the booze from the original? Finally, some filthy people. That's this is what I'm talking about. But they still, they look like college students. This is how college students dress. What are you talking about? Look at these fucking hippies sipping their lattes. What is this, Kanye's fashion? I don't believe this. And this is like the cook. He's just sitting down chilling with these guys. 
Yeah, yeah look, a bunch of college students. What is this shit? Making sushi? Look at how shit it looks, man. It looks like a PS3 game. And it's not my... I'm telling you, it's not my machine. I don't have a good machine. I don't have a good machine. But my machine can make it happen. I, be, I play the Elden Ring no problem. And that game is 10 times the game this is. Literally. More than 10. 20 times. And it's got no story. So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reaction. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? Oh, you stuck? Sorry. I think I just hit that pop child. I should probably explain. The leaf house is a local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Maris, where'd you go? The church again? The church again? That dog got together! The kid from Digimon. I'm sick of hearing these adults voicing kids. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. Hey, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those arrows. You've helped a lot of You are such a saint! No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? Oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal eggs for my patients sometimes. Since I'm so generous, who says that? Yeah, the writing is fucked up for Eris. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. And her character model looks really good here, but it looks kind of weird at other times. How about some flowers? You know who did a good job with like ghetto accents? Uh, Disco Elysium. You play Disco Elysium, and especially the uh, the full voiced version hey, of Disco. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the full <laughs> the voiced version of Disco Elysium. There's some ghetto kids in that game, and they're like, "What the fuck are you talking about? You talking a cool no? It's so regional, and it's so foul. It's embarrassing with how squeaky clean this game is. Okay, so what you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. See, right here, you should have the choice to either say, I gave it to Tifa, I gave it to Marlene, I threw it away, or blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying Clow needs to have a speech stat, or some kind of persuasion stat, or intimidation stat. You don't have to go that deep, but give me something to say so that I can build a relationship with this fucking virtual girlfriend or whatever that they're trying to do. They don't even let you do that. I'm a slut. I forgot. She left before the morning. Yeah, but that should be a choice. I should choose whether to lie or not. Oh man. This is a C minus, guys. Whoa, this would be amazing if the graphics were good. And it'd be even more amazing. Even if the graphics weren't good, it'd be amazing if you could explore it thoroughly. But you can't. So I'm not impressed. Well, yeah, it's in the script. It's supposed to be. I don't know why it's so huge, though. She's got a whole jungle in the back. Come on. I'm home. Hey, baby. Ah, oh, they nailed the house. Been up to no good? Room turned lights. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud. 
my bodyguard. Uh, uh. Uh oh. Can't take care of her. Not my job. Or was my job. Yep. Hey. So Charles, you gonna head back to Sector Seven? So, this is not the the first soldier. Literally from. So like capital letter soldier that she's brought home. This is at least the second soldier guy that Aerith has brought home to her mom. So the fact that they're not playing that up in their, you know, I hope they do. Maybe they will. But the fact that her mom didn't look at her a certain way or show concern or subtly reprimanded her. Um Yeah. Then I'll tell you the way. She's like, You're fucking another dude, what you just fuck him on the way? <laughs> His job is over. <laughs> yeah, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it until you just keep on going. Oh my god, she's perfect! Hey mom, I'm gonna go take quiet over to sector seven, okay? <sighs> Why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to see. That's true. I, if you kids are gonna bang, I'd rather you do it under my roof. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I was telling you to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Leaf house. <laughs> that wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Are you the lady who got a text with for a boy coming your way? Pussy. You know what I found this time? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll grab the basket. Be right back. Why are they trying to play this like it's wholesome? <laughs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? Yeah, from the back. It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel. Can I go up there? Give her a hand. Oh, shit. This one's mine. I think this one's mine. Uh-oh. That's weird. At least the house is well done. Just cranking up the nostalgia to a thousand over here. Oh my god, it's so washed out. Amazing. What? What'd you see? Can we swim? Can we swim in this game? Probably not. You probably can't even fall into the water. And you know what, guys? Even if the graphics were intact, even if the graphics were perfect, still, fuck this game. They fucked it up in, in fundamental ways. That just fixing the, the graphics. Won't... I don't give a fuck about graphics. Hey, let me take this one. What are you trying to feminize me? I'm an alpha male. I'm red pill. Girls reject me because I'm an alpha male. <laughs> and he's right here on my baby. Yeah, and right between that dress, this is my baby's right there. Woo! She used to have a butt dunk. What happened? You know how Tifa has big titties? Eris was supposed to have like nice hips and a fat ass. What happened? Mm -hmm. Why did they nerf her ass? What is it, sports underwear? It can't be that. Shit, I do have an eye for that kind of thing. Oh lord. Aww. I wish she was an adult. Because I, I feel like this is statutory. What should we get now? Sounds like Selfie. Selfie was like 16. And she behaved like she was 9. 
9 to 12. So Cloud is supposed to be 21, but they wrote him like a 16-year-old. And Eris is supposed to be 22, and they wrote her like a like a 12-year-old, I think. Or like 14-year-old girl, maybe. 16, maybe. Retarded. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Huh? We're gonna smoke these? What happened to your butt? What happened to your hips? It's a cloud has got more curves than this girl. What's going on? Look at that. Why they make Cloud more sexy than her? What the fuck is going on? Where are we going? We're going that way? Do my molasses run. My molasses trot. No need to hurry. I'm not under the gun or anything. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this crap. <laughs> oh, look, a little atmosphere. This feels a little humid here. Over. And that's it. Wow, this little spot right here. Not if you go back, though. You know, From Software is notorious for making the front and the back look thoroughly detailed and essential to traversal. This shit, you go back, you see all the... You see behind the sets, so to speak. You got a whole town behind your house. Oh, here we go. Okay. That whole hospital behind our house. I'm so generous that I bring leaves to the school. Yeah, so the teachers can take a break. Beep, 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 beep. It's for the teacher's mental health. Fuck the kids. Oh, okay. But I won't be a while. Why not check out the town? She's gonna be a while, fellas. Well... I get the feeling like I'm I'm gonna do some boring ass shit and I don't wanna record that. So I'll see you guys later.